Welcome, welcome. I'm Elizabeth Harper from Sealed with Love. I'm here on numerologist.com with your angel messages. So we are using Keepers of the Light Oracle cards. What I'd love for you to do is place your hands over the heart. Invite the angels to come in with their blessings, with their love. And ask them which number will support me at this time. Number one, two or three. Which message is really going to guide me forward? Okay. Let's see what wants to come up for you. Let me know in the comments which number you chose. And let me know if it resonates with you as well. If something else comes up for you too. All right, number one. Awakening Presence, El Moria. So this says, the universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. I love that. So El Moria. In Orisoma, El Moria is a pale blue color. And it's about the very beginning. It's about inspiration and connection to the divine. And knowing your purpose is in alignment with the divine. So this says, awakening presence. So this is about opening up and realizing how powerful you are, what your purpose is, what your path forward is, who you need to connect with, who you are, accepting yourself, loving yourself, being the presence that you can be for others and for yourself. So I feel the message with this is, first of all, you're on the right path. Let go of resistance and struggle. Surrender to the divine energy. Allow yourself to be one with the light because you are. Don't struggle against it. This is who you are. You are light. You are a light bearer. You are a light worker. You are light. I feel with this too, you know, blue is the biggest healing color. It's like penicillin of color as far as I'm concerned. Allow that blue of El Moria to come in, to heal, to heal your soul, to heal every aspect and part of your being. And I feel as well, I'm being told as I'm tuning into this to ask for forgiveness. And it's not because you've done something wrong. It's just asking forgiveness of anything and everything. Every thought, every action that may have not been in alignment with your light. Just that. And I feel that there is a message of purity that's here to bring you back to, into the energy of purity. Number two, number two. Number two is Diana, focused action, focused intention. So Diana is an archer. She is the huntress and she points her arrow and then sets it off and it gets to her target. So this is perfect that it's connected with intention. It says, think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. So this connects, of course, with what's your intention for this year? What do you want to manifest? What do you want to bring into your life? What do you want to create? And then setting your sights on that. So if you imagine that you're running, let's say you're running a mile, where are you going on that mile? If you're running in competition with others, let's say, and you're running that mile, are you going off over there? Are you going off over here or are you going this way? So you have an intention, you have a direction, you have a mission and you move toward that so that there can be success and achievement at the end of it. You know where you're going. So I feel that's what the message is here. Focused intention. 
know where you're going so that your energy can move towards it. Otherwise, it's just it's all over the place. All right. Invite Diana in to help you. Number three. Number three. Mother Mary. So love and peace. How perfect. Love and peace. Got that beautiful light blue there as well. Let go of the need to be right. That's a big one, isn't it? Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. Love and peace. Mother Mary. So this is kind of interesting when it says, let go of the need to be right. Because this can really set in motion when you want to be right, it can stop you sometimes from being open to something that's different. And it's not saying you're wrong. It's just saying that there can be a restrictiveness, that it's a, about being right. Yeah, can you feel that? There can be restriction within that. Because we get this sense of this is right. This is the way it is. It's not like that, it's this. So we get blinkered, don't we? So I feel with this that your angels are saying, expand your energy, expand your perception, expand your thoughts, expand your receptivity to others' ideas, to others' truths. So that maybe what you think is right might shift and change. It might not. It might stay the same, but there may be an opening that's there. The saying, well, you know what? This is right, but it's fluid. It can shift and change. I always find for myself that truth shifts and changes. That it has a theme, a core, but I still allow it to shift and change. It doesn't stay static. And I feel that's the message. Is allowing yourself to be open. Allowing yourself to be open to receive. Allowing yourself to be in this place where you are receptive. And I feel that is the message with Mother Mary. That receptivity of the mother. Imagine your mother's love, or just imagine love. Imagine receiving love. What if you were blinkered? What if you were, love is a box, but it's not, is it? So when you open yourself up, when you let go of this idea that it's so rigid, then you open yourself up to even more, and there's such a blessing in that. Thank you so much, as always, for being here with me. Sending you love and blessings from the angels. I'll see you next week. Keep shining your light.